Hi there, welcome back to Wallflowers. So today as usual it's the Wednesday haul but today it's my small Wednesday haul. Um, I'd like to say it was on budget. It's not. <laughs> so although it's a very small budget, a small haul, um, I've done what I always do. I've done a price cost analysis. I've again written down what I've actually spent on the product, written down what it should have cost me in the supermarket or on the internet and what the actual item is. So I'll start at the beginning and I absolutely fell in love with these. So I've got two, they're like a plaster cast candelabra and they actually came with the candles already. Um... And I just thought they were beautiful and I thought they'd sit lovely on top of the wood stove burner and the mantle around it. Um, and they were just £4 each. Now I knew instantly looking at them that they would have cost me a lot more elsewhere. And it's the style we like. Um, quite gothic, um, but it would fit in with our decor. Um, I just absolutely loved the look of them as soon as I saw them. So I thought I'm going to have them. Now they were on a special table <clears throat> and the funds of anything you bought off that table were to go towards the air ambulance. Um, they were just £4 each. And when I researched them, I could only find them online. Um, the cheapest ones we could find, um, near enough exact, not totally exact, well, £14.99 each, so that's a total of £20.98. Now, what 98. I, 98, sorry, 28, 20, 98. 20, 29 <laughs> Um <laughs> But what I didn't include in this price cost analysis was because I would have bought those off the internet, it would have actually cost me shipping as well because um, they weren't in the UK. And I couldn't find any similar to them. So, yeah, I've paid £8 for the pair, which is an awful lot for me to pay. But I thought they'd really, really suit our decor. And they would last a long, long time. And the cameras, the candles would be perfect for the winter. Um, should we need the light in that source. So, yeah, so twenty eight ninety eight compared to £8 is £21.98 saving. Absolutely wonderful, and that's the first two items off the bat. Second item is a kilo of Brussels sprouts. Mr. Wallflowers absolutely loves his sprouts, and he's actually had a portion out of these already, so that's just under a kilo, and he's had a portion <coughs> for this evening's meal. Now, I paid 42 pence for them, and they would have cost me for a kilo of sprouts £2.50 in the supermarket. These are for me. Mr. Wallflowers won't eat them because the nut butter bars. And I got um, two for 42 pence, but I actually took six. Um, there was quite an abundance of them there. So I actually took six of them. So I paid £1.26 for but six of these. there's only four there. There's only four there because I've eaten one and one's in the fridge. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> so they would have actually cost me £1.30 each per bar in the shops, which would have been a total of £7.80 for six of them. So compared to £1.26, what a blessing. So, yeah. Quite an expensive bar. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't actually purchase one of them, pay £1.30 in a, in a supermarket or a shop. But hey, I did enjoy the one I ate and I will enjoy the rest of them. As I said, they'll personally just be for me. So I should get to eat all the party rings then? There are no party rings. Oh. So I bought another pack of the batteries, this time the smaller ones again. So now I have two packs of the smaller and two packs of the large. Um, again, two items, so it's cost me 84 pence, and they should have actually cost 2 99 So, absolute wonderful savings. I picked this one up. Um, this will be getting sent as a Christmas gift to someone. I'm not saying who, but they'll appreciate it when they receive it. Um, it's a box of tea bags, um, new English teas, the picture of an English red bus on it and I just thought it was so cute 
So the English, London bus. a London bus, yeah. Um, and I just thought it was so cute. So that cost me forty-two pence again. It's a gift, and it would have cost me one pound forty-nine. These were actually free um, on the free table outside in a shop called Fairclamp, and they're actually edible violas. And I picked up four four punnets of them. Um, there was an absolute abundance of them and nobody was picking them up at all. I thought I'll take four of those. Um, we'll have a salad tomorrow. I'm just about to eat one. Do you want one, Mr. Wallflowers? Starving. <laughs> Stop kidding. <laughs> um, I'll eat the orange one. Not an awful, not kind of awful of amount of flavour, but I'm sure if it's incorporated with some salad, mm. um, it'll probably bring out the flavours of other things, and other things will bring out the flavour of it. I just thought they were really pretty, and whilst we're, they're available, we take advantage of them. Um, if we don't eat more than one punnet, I'll probably dry them and keep them as popiori. But yeah, um... Rather than let them all go to landfill when people don't take them, I took four upon it to them. Now, as I say, they were completely and utterly free to me. Now, these to buy in the shops would cost £3.70 per pony. So, to have four of them, it would have cost £14.80. I got them scot-free, but they would have cost £14.80. For four punnets of edible violas. I just think it's so pretty. Mm. I also got, I bagged these off because I've just had to bring them out the freezer again. Two cheese and onion pasties. We quite enjoyed these for lunch. I paid a pound for the pay and it would have cost me one pound forty-five. Excuse me, I'm not being rude. I've still got the viola in my <laughs> mouth. They would have cost me one pound forty-five in the shops. I bought yet another bag of chicken wings. I ate the whole of the last bag and they were absolutely delicious. And I keep promising myself I'm going to count some off and do some um, sticky chicken with them. So this bag is promised for sticky chicken wings. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, I didn't get it for a pound today. Unfortunately, I had to pay three pounds. But compared to the seven pounds it would have cost me in the shop to buy that bag, it's still a wonderful blessing. So it's a savings of four pounds. I saw this and thought it was quite nice. Now we have a lot of decorations, a lot of old ones, and quite a few got broken last year. The Christmas tree kept falling over. Um, and I saw these, and the pack cost me two pounds fifty today. And there's quite a lot in it. Um, there's 50 in it all together, a nice star um, and all different shapes, sizes and shades of red. Now that box, the box itself is terribly flimsy, <laughs> that box actually cost me £2.50. Now when I looked online that box is available in a shop called Poundland, um, so it's like dollar store in America. Um, our Poundland here and they would have cost £5 in the Poundland so I got it for half price basically so another savings of £2.50 Nothing fifty. costs a pound in Poundland <laughs> <laughs> Nothing ever costs a pound in Poundland <laughs> um, As usual two two litres of water I paid 84 pence for the pay and it would have cost me £1.40 for the pay again, fantastic saving <clears throat> I've started to use this so it's a little bit less. I got two kitchen rolls for 84 pence and they would have cost me £1.69 in the shops. So there was another free gift. Oh, do you know I, I haven't added the Ziplocs? Oh, well, I haven't added it into either end. I paid mm. a pound each for 15 um, large Ziploc bags. I normally can find the small and never find the large. So I've bulk buyed 
and I've bought them today in the large size so I've got a, a regular supply of them. This was actually a free gift in what we call the community grocers. <clears throat> I'll leave it on the white back so you can read it. So it's last year's and it's a Christmas decoration for the tree. Uh, it's got lots of little entries on it. End fuel poverty now. Um, it mentions that needle, that's medical. Um, crypto crash tells you to shop on the uh, we did a lot of shopping online in that year there was an energy crisis sorted no more of those gags across your mouth um, lots of free hugs um, fuel price increases and it, it's just a, a memory of what happened in 2022 um, and it was a free gift and Carol got quite excited when she saw it and she kept saying to me do you want one of them do you want one of them and in the end I went yeah 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 okay I'll, I'll have one of them so just a, a memory to look back on uh, probably in about 10-20 years and I'm sure we won't forget 2022 in a hurry but it'll still remind us so that was a free gift um, all in all today I've gone over budget, as I said, um, to the amount of £18.70. Now, had I not bought the candelabras, I would have been on target, which would have been £10.70. But I've gone over to buy those. And the grand total, should I have bought it in a supermarket, would have cost me for this £76.10, pence, which is a, a wonderful saving to me of £57.40. I also picked myself this up. That's with all the bags and the Ziplocs. Yeah, yeah. So it would have been over 80 quid, not it? Yeah, yeah. I also bought myself a little woolly hat. Um, and I've worn it today. It's been so frosty here. We had um, a moon... Um, two nights ago and the moon absolutely shone like a bright sun it was so golden yellow and uh, lots of people on social media were saying that indicates a frost is coming and they weren't wrong everywhere has just been so icy and so cold all day today so when I saw this on the shelf I thought I'm having that now it's not not the most flattering of hats but boy, oh boy, does it keep your ears warm when you're out and about and you're out in that frosty chill. So, yeah, it's not the most flattering, but it's warm. <laughs> so I picked that up as well. Um, but I bought that out my own personal funds for myself. Um, so, yeah, small but dainty um, and totally valuable um, haul today. Um, I'd like to thank Caramel today for a donation to the Fund for the Children for Christmas and for the Food Initiatives. Beautiful fund. Thank you so much. That's very generous of you, Caramel. Um, and we have just about 11 days left. So if anyone else would like to donate, contribute uh, to the Children's Fund, it's just coming up to 11 days left uh, to which we have to draw it out and donate it to where we're donating it to or buy any gifts that we have to buy um so yeah 11 days if you'd, if you'd like to join us and also i've been receiving some emails um uh, people whose addresses we might not have who would like to receive one of our wallflowers christmas cards um we've been writing them out we've been getting the addresses from who won the quizzes and who's been in contact with us through email and uh, as i say we've had a few uh, send us emails this week requesting one so you shall be getting them and thank you for contacting us and don't forget we like Christmas cards too you know <laughs> I'd be amazed about I'd absolutely love to have Christmas cards from all over the world hint hint <laughs> so if you need our address just... if you need our address just email us and we'll do that as well um, and if you haven't requested an email uh, Christmas card yet and you'd like one and we don't happen to have your email address please don't be shy just send an email and we'll send you one along um while socks last of course <laughs> Mr Wolfflowers keeps telling me to add that on but yeah so if you'd like a card email us um if you still wish to partake in the fund for the children for Christmas there's 11 days left and besides that 
I hope you like my really small Wednesday haul. I feel like I've bought next to nothing, but I'm so grateful for everything that we do have. Okay, thanks for joining us this evening. Take care, remember you're loved, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs>